The energy problem the world has is not really the one that you hear about or see in the US or Europe. The trouble is, we Americans use about 11 kilowatts, 11,000 watts. Toasters are about a kilowatt. So it's very much like each and every American has 11 toasters running all day, every day. Of course, we don't really have toasters, but this is taking all the energy that we use in heating our buildings and air conditioning and all the primary energy uses. It's like 11 toasters. Now, if you look at the world and you say, what is the world average? 2.5 kilowatts, way less than us. Africa per capita, 800 watts. So the Africans don't even have one toaster each. The Indians, well, they got, you know, a toaster and a half. China happens to be today right about at the world average. They all want 11 toasters. In this century, they're all gonna go to 11 toasters. Hot places want air conditioning. People want computers. They want transportation. They want all the things that we have. And you can't deny it to them. How, how could you stop them? So what that means is we're going to grow the whole world's energy supply by a factor of five this century. So if you think about the real energy problem for the 21st century, it's not to say, how can we cut the US back a bit? How can we cut Western Europe back? No, it's about how we can let the rest of the world in on the lifestyle that we have. I think that's the real challenge is, can you step forward and do that?